Are you working on your website and wondering how to pick the right name for it? Well, keep watching. In this video, we'll cover eight tips that you can go through to make sure that you pick the perfect name for your website and your business. If you remember from our last video, we walked you through how to pick the right platform. So if you haven't had a chance to look at that, go back and take a look and pick the right platform first. And moving on, let's go ahead and figure out how to pick the right name for your website. The first tip is you definitely want to stick with a .com. Now, if you are a nonprofit, go ahead and use the .org. But if you're looking to build a business, then the .com is the best way to do it. Now, there are several new extensions like photography, .blog, .pizza, .shop, but you really want to stick with a .com name. And that's simply because people simply remember a domain name and they always add the .com at the end. It's still the most established and credible extension out there. Now, I know that that's a lot easier said than done since it seems like every .com name out there has already been taken. So what a lot of people do is they'll add a different modifier to the domain name that they want to see if that is available. And again, this is dependent on what your site will be about. And later on, I'll show you how you can automatically do this process with a few different domain name generators. The next thing is use proper keywords for your website. And all that means is if you're building up a website based around a topic, then if you can have those keywords in that website, then that will be helpful. Keyword in a domain plays a crucial role in the search engine optimization, and that helps you just a little bit in Google's eyes. It also helps the user know what the site is about. Now, I know that a lot of times the keyword that you're looking for can be difficult to add into the site, so you may have to get creative, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The next thing to do is you want to keep it short. If you can keep it under 15 characters, that's ideal. And really, I shoot for 12 or under. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but if you can do that, then that'll help out. You don't want to have to give somebody this really super long domain name for your business. Not to mention, users have a higher tendency to enter typos when trying to enter a longer domain name. Next, make it easy. Make it easy to pronounce and to spell. You should be able to easily share your domain with someone when you're talking to them and they can write it out without any problem or that they can remember it without any problem. So it should be easy to spell and understand. Next, is it unique and brandable? Your blog name should be unique. It should stand out in your reader's eyes and it shouldn't be too generic. In other words, you don't want something like buybooksonline.com. Amazon.com is much more memorable. Now, when looking at keeping it unique and brandable, also make sure that it is not accidentally trademarked by someone else. The next thing to look for is don't use hyphens. It was pretty popular a decade ago to add hyphens because most of the regular domain names were taken and somebody and people started putting hyphens in everything. Don't do that anymore. They're very prone to typos and get ignored. It also used to be a big sign of spam, so you don't want to be associated with that. The next thing you want to think about is double letters. That causes some issues and it is more prone to typos as well. So if you can avoid using double letters, for example, you wouldn't want to set something up as wordpresssetup.com. A, it's a trademark name and B, you simply wouldn't want to use all those S's in your domain name. And then finally, leave room to expand. If you're building up a business, but you want room to expand later, for example, if you're setting up something like a floral shop, then if you set something up like orchidblog.com, then that's really constraining you from being able to talk about other types of flowers. So try and expand out to make it a little bit larger that you could talk about things like roses if you wanted or any other category for the floral shop. Okay, now that we've gone over the tips, let me show you quickly a few websites that will help you find your best domain name. The first one is Nameboy. It's one of the oldest name generators. And what you can do pretty much with all of these websites is you enter one or two of your keywords that you want. And when you click submit, it'll go through and bring back some suggestions. The second one is Is It WP. If you go to isitwp.com, we'll go over to tools. And we also have a domain name generator here. Same process enter one or two keywords and find the domain names. Once you find the domain name, then hold off on registering it because in the next video, I'll walk you through how you can get your hosting and 
you'll be able to get your domain name for free for the first year. Did you learn today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.